Hey friends, welcome to Top 10 Gaming, your one stop spot for all things gaming, including creepy pastas based on your favorite titles. Today, we are going down the scary rabbit hole once again, but this time returning to one of our previous lists Minecraft Creepy Pastas, Part 3. So, without any more hesitation, let's jump in. Starting us off, Alex Brine. Alex Brine is another riff on the famous Hero Brine creepypasta of sorts. Now, the author of the story starts off by saying that they're a hacker. Not an evil one, but someone who likes to go into other people's worlds in Minecraft and see what they're up to. Like a voyeur of sorts. He's seen a lot of stuff, but on one particular hacking session, he saw something that stuck with him for years. He hacked into a server, spawning into a world close by to where those on the server were playing. The coding he used allowed him to be pretty much invisible. It did not alert the other players of his presence, so they had no idea that he was there. When he spawned onto this world, he saw nine different players. Their names? The Prince, Walk on Step, Five Thy Four Four, Bradling, Thy Tenor, AABB Five Six Seven, Fiverr Town, Linko, and Thinopi. All of them had diamond armor. Three of them were on horses, three of them were on mules, and three were on donkeys. They kind of looked like pros. Intrigued, he watched them. Just up to typical business though mining, building, creating. But then, out of nowhere, they just split up. The three groups based on Steed. Curious, he decided to follow them, going after the mule group first. He listened to their audio. They were going on about a hole that they had dug, not being able to find it or something. That's when, out of nowhere, dispensers appeared, and the players were shot at. One of them used an ender pearl to quickly escape, and the other two weren't so lucky, being knocked out. That's when something weird came out of the forest nearby. It looked like Alex, but had a trait that the hacker had heard about from very familiar stories the eyes of Herobrine. Alex Brine. He watched as Alex Brine slaughtered them all, then disappeared. Scared out of his wit, the hacker typed in some code and found himself now following the trio on donkeys. He watched them for a while, until all of a sudden, much like the dispensers, a bunch of TNT appeared out of nowhere and exploded. That's when Alex Brine appeared again and more TNT went off, killing all of the players on donkeys. The hacker knew what was next. He typed in some code, only to find himself with the players on horseback. And he was right. He couldn't hear what they were saying, but from afar, he saw one of them, the prince, step on a pressure plate. The weird thing was, when he stepped on it, nothing happened. Just the familiar noise that came with the pressure plate. But that's when their audio kicked in. They were all laughing about it, with the prince going over the pressure plate again and again and again as a joke, until kaboom! Hundreds of TNT went off. All the hacker could see through the explosion was an ender pearl being thrown. When the dust cleared, only the prince was left. But he started running, and running, and ran past the hacker, invisible to the prince's eyes. And that's when he saw it. Alex Bryan coming out of the trees. She shot the prince with an arrow. The prince went down and began to turn into a zombie. That's when the hacker realized Alex Bryan was staring straight at him. It was chilling. All of a sudden, he was kicked from the server. And he hasn't hacked since. Up next, we've got Golden Song. This creepypasta comes from an author the name of Nick the Epic. Nick starts off his story by noting that he hasn't been able to play Minecraft for a while. Life gets busy, and sometimes there isn't just enough time to game. So when the winter break came around, he was excited to jump back into the game, looking forward to creating a new world and having a fresh start. Now when he restarted the game, at first it was a lot of just, you know, chopping wood, mining, making a house, hunting animals, the basics really. But he started to get bored, and wanted to do something different. Something cool. So he hopped onto the Minecraft forum to see if there were any new maps to play. One caught his eye an epic jump map. He downloaded it and started to play. Now, a few minutes in, a piece of gold caught his eye, so he ran towards it. What happened next was strange, to say the least. A bright spot appeared on his screen, shaped almost like a person, but it was so bright that he could hardly focus his eyes on it. That's when he heard singing. It seemed as if the singing had powers of sorts. It was attracting nearby objects and entities, like zombies and skeletons, and even his coveted gold piece. Trees and dirt also flew towards the figure. Now, before Nick's eyes, the whole map was falling apart, being sucked into this bright black hole esque of a person, their singing ever so potent. That's when he realized he was being pulled closer to them, too. The light was blinding. And then, he was disconnected. It was weird. Deciding to get some sleep, Nick hopped into bed, but as he drifted off, he heard the song that the person was singing, as if it was far away in the distance. And as he kept his eyes closed, a bright light grew and grew and grew. He never played that map on Minecraft again. Up next, we have 234.entity Java Error. This pasta tells of a player who was busy in their world, making good progress, and heading towards a village. Now, as they approached this village, all of a sudden, it was like the game glitched. The villagers he had seen in the distance just disappeared entirely. Now, curious, he headed towards the village and a tall, odd looking structure at its center. Before he could fully look around and get a gauge of everything, boom! TNT after TNT went off, destroying the area around him. 
he died. And then a message opened up in chat that read, killed by entity 234.lang java error. Thinking nothing of it and about to restart his game, his chat went off again. That's when it got weird. Someone named java error entity 234 started sending messages one word at a time to him. Will. Kill. You. The game completely glitched, slowing down. That's when the player noticed what time it was. 2.34 AM. A strange sound came out of his computer. A program had opened up, as if his computer was infected by some sort of virus. Messages started swarming his screen that read javaera.exe, you will suffer like me. And feel the pain in my heart. The program then closed and Minecraft booted up. The cross report read, entity 234, brackets, summoned object successfully. Entity 234, brackets, javalang overload. The player freaked out and deleted his world. When in doubt, just delete your shit. And finally, our very last creepypasta, Glitchfest. Glitchfest is the story of a player who was part human, part glitch, who had died long ago in the early days of Minecraft without ever getting his revenge for being sucked into the digital world after an experimental game went wrong via a virus. Now the heart of the story starts years later though, with a player on Christmas Day who got a new computer from Santa. After setting it up, the first thing he did was play Minecraft. Now over the years he would play a bunch of different games, but constantly find himself going back to Minecraft whenever he grew bored of other titles. One random afternoon, he decided to boot up the game after not having time touched it for a while. The game lagged, the first time it had ever done that. Thinking his beloved computer was just finally getting old, he decided he'd exit the game and reboot it in hopes that it would work better. But when he tried to exit, a message appeared on his screen that read, you will never leave. Weird, he thought, and tried to exit again. But then, the game got glitchy. It would shut off. And that's when he saw him for the first time, Glitchfest. He looked like a normal player holding an axe standing at a distance. After a moment, Glitchfest ran towards him and killed his player over and over and over again. He tried turning off Minecraft, but it didn't work. He tried rebooting his computer, nothing. Finally, in real life, he yanked the plug out of his computer. Freaked out, he stayed away from the game for a few days, almost entirely forgetting about this strange experience. Now, a few days later, when he turned the game on again, it didn't start up as it normally would. Instead, his whole screen turned red. A message appeared, die, followed by, I'll keep you here forever. He rebooted it and the game returned to normal. Now playing in survival mode, he went down into a cave and collected some iron, but when he looked at his inventory, the iron had turned into coal. Annoyed that someone had hacked his computer or some virus was messing with his game, he reset the game again and went about his way. This time he was playing with a mod called Mega Weapons, and he was crafting some new fun swords to use. But that's when the game started to glitch again. Next thing he knew, TNT was exploding all around him, and in the aftermath, there stood Glitchfest. This time, Glitchfest started to chase him. He grew in size, almost 500 blocks tall. The player chugged a sugar rush potion and ran for his life. But Glitchfest was fast. He caught him. The game glitched yet again, and the player saw a splatter of blood appear on his screen. It looked too realistic to be in the game. Then he heard laughing. And the words, did you think you could beat me? The two then fought. After an arguous struggle, the player managed to knock Glitchfest into a lava pit. But as he died, a message appeared from Glitchfest.exe. It read, I will take something you treasure with me forever. A few days later, in real life, the player's dog died in mysterious causes. Which was not the direction I thought this creepypasta was going in. All right, there we have it, friends. What's your favorite Minecraft creepypasta? What's your favorite from the three parts that we've done so far? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. And if you dug this video, spread the love, hit that like button, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more creepypasta lists just like this one. And of course, other gaming news and, you know, content too. We are Top 10 Gaming after all. In the meantime, thanks for watching, friends. I'll catch you all in the next video.